Special release from the Maker Letters this week with a one year review of the original Prusa i3 MK3S Plus. You will hear what I appreciate about the original Prusa workhorse as 15 questions. And before we start, I need to point out that this review is not associated with and not sponsored by Prusa. When I was on the market for a 3D printer, I didn't realize what to look for. It's a fair user review to give something back to the community. Question number one. Is this your first 3D printer? It's my second 3D printer and the only 3D printer I use. Question number two. How is the 3D printing quality? The 3D printing quality is outstanding for a hobby machine. You can control quality and speed settings in the Prusa slicer. Question number three. Was it easy to get started 3D printing? I invested in the pre-assembled version and was 3D printing within minutes after shipment. Very easy to get started. They sent the printer with an SD memory card filled with different files ready to print. Question number four. What do you 3D print? First, I just printed toys and random stuff. Then I started to print my own designs made in Fusion 360. Then I started to print rapid prototypes for Bridger products I later produced in steel and wood. It's good to test the design with a cheap PLA model before you spend $1000 on steel. I also design and print things I use in my daily life, like phone holders or random home fix solutions. Question number 5. How much you printed your first year? I have to get back at this one, but XX hours. Question number 6. Have you done any repairs? No, I have only been printing. Question number seven. Have you done any maintenance? No, but just like with a car or bike, I probably should. Question number eight. Did you do any mistakes when you bought your 3D printer? Yes, I bought both PLA and PETG filament. Thought I would just switch between them, which is not the case. Question number nine. What mistakes do you think people do when they buy 3D printers? You don't just buy a printer. You buy an experience before and after your investment. One nice aspect I like with Prusa 3D printers is the community aspect. The expanding fan base is a source for knowledge and assistance. Question number 10. What would you do different if you were to go back in space and redo your 3D print purchase? I would still buy the Prusa i3 MK3S Plus, but I would also acquire a Prusa Mini. I would use one for PETH key 3D printing and one for PLA 3D printing. Question number 11. What do you like the most with your original Prusa? It is re reliable and easy to use. Question number 12. What would you develop if you could change something with this 3D printer? Three things. I would love integrated Wi-Fi so I can sp print straight from the computer. I would love a bigger color display. I would love to have the opportunity to hook up more filament spools. It would support multicolor prints without manual filament switching. Question number 13. Will your next 3D printer be a Prusa or another brand? I'll stay with Prusa. My next purchase will probably be a Prusa Mini for PETG 3D printing and one enclosure for the Mini and one for the i3 MK3. Question number 14. Do you need an enclosure to 3D print? It depends on what material you print and what you mean with do you need. For some materials you need an enclosure to protect yourself from the fumes. Even if it can improve 3D printing quality, you don't need an enclosure for PLA 3D printing quality. However, I will probably invest in one to improve air quality. Question number 15. Are you delighted, satisfied or dissatisfied with this purchase? I am delighted with this purchase. 
I'm having so much fun with this 3D printer. It's part of my identity. I hope the review this week gave you insights. Good luck and see you later. Bye.